prep for Valentine's Day, and this time we are talking about kissable lips. Yes, you know, that is an important part. Um, yes. <laughs> so... And and something that doesn't come off on your partner, right? Yes! <laughs> you no, know, I'm telling you right now, I don't know one guy that likes having red lipstick all over his face. No, so, Sammy and no, Dylan no. are here from Signature Brides Makeup, and we are talking lips. So, what are you going to tell us first? Yes. So, we are going to show you the colors that we put on me. Okay. And also, I'm going to put a color on her. And then we're going to talk about the wide variety of colors you have. Yeah, and so lipstick many versus a stain. Okay. And what so it will do for you. What did you put on your lips? So we put one of the Kylie lip cut colors on her. Hers is Angel. Yeah, these are nice because they are a matte liquid lipstick, but they go on super creamy okay. and they stay on long lasting, yeah, especially yeah. for Utah where we're so dry. I was say, your lips don't look dry. Yeah, it looks really. Pretty. Yeah, it looks super smooth. And this is a good for this one is a good one for her skin tone. It's more of like a mauvey, rosy, not yeah. too pink, but not too warm or too brown or too cool. It's really like a pretty. good in between. Okay, and then you're actually going to apply. Yes. Your skin yeah. So what are you going to put on her? Red. red. We're going for it. Don't We're be going scared of it. red. Don't be scared bold. of red. Okay. No. Don't be scared of red. So how do you do a nice red without making it look like too much? It depends get it, on your skin yeah, tone. Yeah, get okay. it get the right tone for your skin color. You're really going to notice if you have if it's too orange or if it's too cool. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to make sure that it like goes good with your skin tone because skin tone because a lot of people are scared of red so I just say don't be afraid of it and test out test them out test go get help out. at the put it on your put it on your hand yeah test that it out before you put shows. it on okay exactly so what it's gonna show look us like. how you're gonna put it on her yes hair. so her hair is really dark and she can go pretty much like a blood red which I love love it really dark hair it looks amazing and it just seems like a classic it is red very look. classic so what I always suggest when you're applying it, even if you're applying it on yourself, especially when it's a stain and it's bright red, mm -hmm. you really need to make sure that you have a brush that is sharp on the edges, sort of like what I'm using here. Yeah, I was going to say, you're using a little tiny brush. So that you can get in and really mm -hmm. carve out those lines and make sure that the lines are going to be straight. Now, this is a stain like we talked about, and it's not going to come off on your partner or leak around the edges. Either. Love that. So it's yeah. actually going to stay on. Yes, it's going to stay on for your all of your night's festivities, whatever that may include. And how many layers of this do you need to apply? Mm -hmm. It depends on how dark. Okay. Um, and usually we like to apply two just so that we know that it's set really well. But if you like more of um, just a, you know, lighter red or whatever, you can just apply one. And if blot you like a little to. off. Yeah, okay. blot a little off, whatever whatever kind of color you want to get. I love it, looking oh, it's good. So okay, ladies, what we're gonna do is go to commercial hey. break and come back with the finished look. Perfect, okay, I love so it. Keep working okay, on okay. it, and we'll come back and show you the finished lipstick look right after this break.